Afternoon tubers, Farron here. Um, got an update what I've been doing over the weekend and um, I decided to build a measure smith again. So here we go, it's a 132nd Hasegawa kit and it is the, I'll tell you now, I can't remember what it's called. It's an F4B Jabo or Yabo. It depends how you want to basically pronounce it. It uh, went together quite well. A bit of a nasty seam line went across the back there, but that was easily cured. Um, went together really, really well. I mean, I filled in the uh, wheel wells here because I painted them with uh, damp tissue and then just went over the top of it with um, some masking fluid. And that basically has sealed that in nicely for me, which I'm really happy with. So I'm, I'm really chuffed about that. I basically blocked off all the areas where I don't want paint to go. And this part here is is resin. This is a resin part which came with the kit. There's five parts there, so the base and the four arms and the bomb. And there you go, and that just sits on there like so. And then over here we've just got the uh, finishing parts. It's basically part of the landing gear and the propeller. So uh, they're all ready for priming there, and that's what I'm going to be doing next. And the landing gear is really highly detailed. I've got to show you this. And right, look at that. Oh, let's get back. There you go. The detail on that. It's really good. Got the cables running down the landing gear there. So that is going to be a, a joy to paint. So I just dis distracted there. My dog's in here and he's like a bull in a china shop. And also I've been working on my 1 16th. Um, Falsham Jaeger, I think it is, or Grenadier, I don't know. Uh, finished the face. Got the face all painted up now. So I'm quite happy with that. I've got to redo the strap around his face though, because I really balls it up. So all that needs now is just a coat of uh, satin varnish over it. A little tip for the eyes. Get some either Tamiya smoke or Vallejo smoke. Um, coat the, the eyes with it. It gives them a more realistic look and it takes the harshness away if you're using white. But yeah, got that bit done, so I'm quite happy with that. And for the camouflage on the unit, on the actual soldier itself, I base coated it in middle stone. And then I just got to do all the little, like the splinter camouflage all over it. And his foot broke off as well, so I was a bit peeved off about that, but never mind. But um, that's as, how, as far as it stands at the moment. I mean, I, I felt the need to build a plane yesterday. Uh, well, on the weekend. I started it Friday. I finished the main construction yesterday. So, masked off all the cockpit there. I saw nicely painted inside. So, yeah, all looking good. And in there, it gave you a piece to actually look like you know where the engine is and basically then that propeller's got a poly cap in and you can stick it on and you can turn your propeller around yay but um it's lovely yeah and really unusual color scheme as well i mean there's my dog just fart and you probably heard that you know this color scheme's weird i'm not sure about this this is the one i wanted to do with these markings but it looks like it's got like a huge blob of grey, uh, what uh, of the uh, grey green colour there. It just look to me. I think that's going to look shit. So I'm not going to do those blobs. Okay, I'm just going to have the camouflage as we see it going along the fuselage. So um, there's even an Africa Core version here, but it's the same colours as the others, which is the um, violet grey and dark sea grey. So, um, but I like the markings of this with the bomb hitting into whatever it is hitting into. Looks like um, a boat, I think. I think it looks like a boat. And yeah, we shall see. I've got to put primer on first and leave that for a day. But I, I had done this, I, I got this kit off uh, Gil, who is uh, Red Dragon painting, or Red Dragon Works rather, sorry. And then we done a swap. And um, we just did another swap. I'm just uh, waiting for a package to come over. I sent the package over to him. So 
I hope he's received that safely because he lives all the way in the States. So if you're watching this, bud, I sent the package. You should have it by now. Well, I hope you do. Um, yeah, that's all I've been up this weekend, considering my circumstances. Um, yeah, things are not too bad at the moment. And I'll uh, try and get a bit more hobby time in because um, as things stand at the moment, uh, yeah, things are pretty um, blur. Yeah, a bit blur. And I just want to get the blur out of my life and get all running again, get things running smoothly. That's a cracking kit, by the way. I urge people to buy it. Um, what else have I been up to? Not a lot, really. Um, sad to say. I am um, tried. No, I didn't have something completely different to do with a hobby. Never mind, you don't know about that. Haha. <laughs> hmm. No, I think that's it at the moment. I mean, other kits I've been looking at to do, but I want to. It's no point me starting them until I move, because of the sheer size of them. I am. I'm going to be ordering a Ju88 from Raval in one thirty fifth, one thirty second scale. I definitely want that. But um, that's going to be for when I move. I reckon that's going to be a, a big project for me. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think. Well, thank you very much for, for watching and watch, listening to me waffle on and boring you to tears. <laughs> but um, please like, comment and subscribe as you always do. You're a great bunch out there and I really appreciate your support on my channel. Thank you very much. I'll see you again soon. That's the end of this video. Ta-da.